Antarctica is larger than the combined size of the USA and Mexico, yet even today, we don't know what lies behind the menacing ice wall. So, what is hidden around the South Pole? Volcanoes spewing gold, human skulls, and blood-red waterfalls? For beginners, yes. Dress warmly, friends, because we're delving into the depths of Antarctica. Bones. You might think that Antarctica is entirely made of ice. But if we set our clocks back 71 million years, we would see that Antarctica was teeming with life. Back then, there were no ice sheets, and it was much warmer than it is now. At the same time, Antarctica was home to prehistoric dinosaurs. Dinosaurs roamed the land alongside other animal species. How do we know this? In 2016, a group of researchers made a significant discovery on James Ross Island. These weren't the remains of the Titanic, of course, because the Titanic sank on the other side in the North Atlantic. In fact, the findings consisted of many well-preserved bones. These bones, classified as fossils, were analyzed and determined to be between 71 and 67 million years old. Most of the bones belonged to ancient duck-like creatures. However, among them were, of course, dinosaur bones. Remember Mosasaurus from Jurassic World? Yes, evidence was found that this ancient animal swam around there. Human skull. Let's jump into a time machine and go back a few decades. Scientists have discovered things here that are even more intriguing than dinosaur fossils. A human skull. Yes, in 1985, researchers stumbled upon a human skull. This skull was estimated to be from the early 1820s and likely belonged to one of the first people, if not the first, to reach Antarctica. We say reached because this skull belonged to a native woman from Tierra del Fuego and was found on Yamana Beach of the South Shetland Islands. Antarctica isn't just about ice and penguins, but also the bones hidden beneath the ice. Mountains under the ice. Nowadays, we are aware of the massive glacier sheets covering Antarctica. The continent holds 90% of the world's freshwater glaciers. 99% of its landmass is covered by two massive ice sheets, each 5 kilometers thick, and these cover an area of more than 8 million square kilometers. That's more than the combined size of the USA, Argentina, Kazakhstan, and France. The story of such a vast landmass doesn't end here, exactly. In fact, there is much more waiting to be discovered in Antarctica. Mountain ranges are among them. But we're not talking about the Transantarctic Mountains or the Erebus Mountain. We're talking about mountains hidden under the ice. Scientists discovered these mountains in 1958 when they realized that they weren't standing on a thick ice sheet, but on a thinner one. The peaks beneath their feet were found to be 2,700 meters high and approximately 1,200 kilometers wide. Who would have thought a massive mountain could play hide and seek? Crystals spewing volcano. What else lies behind the majestic Antarctic ice wall, you ask? A volcano that spews crystals when it erupts. Yes. Mount Erebus, Antarctica's second highest volcano, is also known as the most active volcano in the Southern Hemisphere. In fact, it has been spewing crystals from its central part since the 1970s. These crystals are called anorthoclase minerals. However, these crystals are just one of the magical phenomena happening at this volcano. American geologists also found snow masses here that contain small gold crystals, but not enough to make anyone rich, of course. The mountain only spews about 80 grams of gold per day. Considering its peak is 3,794 meters high, we wish good luck to those seeking these microscopic pieces of gold. But how is this possible? Mount Erebus is a raging volcano. It also holds the third permanent lava lake in the world. This hot lava releases a gas, and one of the elements in that gas is gold. When this gas comes into contact with the frigid air, the temperature of the gas drops. From above 1,000 degrees Celsius, it falls below freezing. This causes the gas to solidify into small particles. This entire process happens just a few meters away from the lava. Blood red waterfall. Waterfalls are usually clear, right? Sometimes they can be brown when the water is muddy or white when flowing forcefully, but you know they're usually not red. Waterfalls aren't red. Actually, this is incorrect. In reality, there are red waterfalls hidden behind the famous Antarctic ice wall. Say hello to the blood falls near the Taylor Glacier, right here. Just one look at the color of the water flowing from here is enough to give you a clear idea of where the name comes from. So, what's the issue? Of course, this waterfall didn't emerge as the result of a gladiator battle or a massacre in the glaciers. Fortunately, there's nothing threatening going on here. The color is completely natural. Scientists first thought that this color was the result of red algae, but that wasn't the case. After teaming up and investigating the area beneath the glacier, researchers concluded that this was due to a series of river connections and another glacier beneath the ice surface. As a result, the water flowing from the waterfall was abnormally rich in iron. The reddish color was due to the iron. But wait, how does a waterfall flow in a place colder than my ex's heart? Because these underground waters contain a large amount of salty water. Since the freezing point of salty water is much lower than that of regular water, these images occur. In other words, when salt water and iron combine, the waterfalls don't freeze. Not even at minus 17 degrees Celsius. Striped icebergs. Moving on. Icebergs in Antarctica are usually covered with snow or they appear turquoise due to reflections from the water or sky. This makes sense. But if there's one thing that doesn't quite add up, it's the green and black icebergs. 
Yes, they really exist and are quite common around the South Pole. These colors appear not as though the icebergs have been mixed with food coloring, but rather in stripes. It sounds crazy, but it's real, and it's a reality with a very simple explanation. It all has to do with the elements contained in the water when it freezes. Water rich in algae turns green when frozen. Melted water that refreezes becomes blue, and water containing various sediments usually turns black when it freezes. Have you ever encountered a frozen insect inside an ice cube? Same logic. Two ATMs. Now let's move on to the two ATMs quietly sitting in Antarctica. There's a small human population at McMurdo Station, the largest scientific facility in the region. Where do you think researchers hang out when they're not climbing Mount Erebus? McMurdo has a few coffee shops, grocery stores, a post office, and a few other things. And to purchase anything, of course, you need money. Since 1998, people have been withdrawing money from these ATMs. Even though people don't frequent Antarctica much, that doesn't mean it's a lifeless desert. What? A desert? You heard that right. Even if there are no sands like the Sahara, you wouldn't think of a place largely covered with ice and snow as dry, but that's exactly the case in Antarctica. Moreover, it's said to be the driest region on Earth. Antarctica is officially classified as a cold desert. There are some animals native to the area, wandering, swimming, sliding and hopping around. Some are cute, while others are spine chilling, but most of them stay behind the ice wall. First we have the strange, probably scary and definitely ugly sea pigs. Also known as sea slugs, these animals are considered by many to be the ugliest creatures beneath the waves and it's not hard to see why. Next up are sea spiders. These small creatures can be found in other parts of the world, but they're usually quite small, measuring around one millimeter in length. However, things are a bit different in Antarctica. Mother Nature surprises us, introducing a concept known as polar gigantism. This turns tiny sea spiders into massive terrifying creatures with a leg span of up to 25 centimeters. We'll pass on that. Much friendlier are the emperor penguins. These adorable birds are known as the largest of all penguin species. They can grow up to 115 centimeters and weigh up to 45 kilograms. We don't blame them for carrying a few extra kilos in such cold weather. Chinstrap penguins are noticeably smaller than this species, but they're still just as cute. Our list wraps up with the wandering albatross, the blue whale, the killer whale, also known as orca, which, contrary to popular belief, is quite friendly toward humans.